Hello guys, today I'm gonna tell you things to do after installation of Ubuntu or any Linux distro. So first of all, update the system. The first thing you should do after fresh install is to update Ubuntu or any other distro which is which you have installed. It may sound strange because you just installed a fresh OS, but still you must check for the update. In my experience, if you don't update the system right after installation of Ubuntu, you might face issues while trying to install a new pro program. To update the Ubuntu or any other distro depend upon the which package or package installer you have, you have to install you have to update and upgrade the system. So these commands apply to the update and upgrade in the system. So just open the terminal and type that command sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade so this will update the system as well as upgrade the system so like this the whole system packages will be updated and uh, your system will be fully updated so another command is also there uh, wait for the update of this system So like this you can update your system and uh, depending upon your internet speed this update will be done. So now the upgrading it is upgrading. So I got a 180 MBF uh, upgrade available but I will do that later. Another thing is that sudo apt get list upgrade this will up, uh, upgrade the linux kernels as well as generic hardware and all the hardware and uh, input output system files so you have to do that after the this command after this command you have to do this command so i'm gonna copy this command and paste here okay second thing after the installation uh, after the upgrading the system you have to uh, you have to up enable the additional repository for more software updates so for that for that ubuntu has several repositories from where it provides software for your system these repositories are main universe restricted and multiverse and canonical partners so i am going to show you where are those just go to software and update updates so from here you have to you got ubuntu software other software updates authentication additional drivers developer options and live page so from here you have to select uh, the all canonical supported free and open source software main universe restricted and multiverse and dep uh, depending upon your uh, location you you have to select the server location and second thing you have to uh, depend upon the software like i have installed an auto vpn in my uh, system so uh, this repositories will be added automatically so you don't need to add but you have to uh, check this first two that is canonical partners source code as well as this first one okay third one third thing is uh, uh, you can uh, check uh, automatically check for update daily or you can set it as weekly or every day and uh, all this stuff here for long in my system is lts that is long term support version so this this will uh, this will be uh, updated depends upon the main server and the authentication and all this stuff additional drivers this additional drivers is uh, connected to the to the uh, the graphic drivers that is uh, if i am using nvidia driver then i have selected it from the official meta package of nvidia driver 435 that is latest you can uh, if your if your system is new then this this is the default option that is x server so if you have nvidia driver you can select this one another thing is developer i don't recommend to check this button 
because it developers option and live patch is there so you have to first of all create the account with the ubuntu and uh, enable this thing so that's it for up software and updates third thing is install media codecs in order to play media files like mp4 mp4 g4 avi etc you will need to install media codecs ubuntu has has them in their repository but doesn't install it by default because of copyright issues in various countries so for that you have to install uh, you have to open uh, terminal and install this uh, inst uh, this copy this command and install the media codec files i have already installed it so let's check it no i didn't install it but uh, you have to install these commands this codecs which will be helpful and i'm installing those codecs another thing is uh, install softwares from the software center so if you need any software like uh, uh, like this uh, spotify android studio telegram visual studio code chromium pycharm or obs you need this software that this is like play store uh, for the applications so uh, you just need to search here which applications you need like if i need telegram then just type the name of the application and you will get the search result over here just here i am updating the files okay codec files these are the uh, these are the media codec files i am installed i am uh, installing on my system and these uh, these files will support me to uh, run the any mp4 or avi codec files so this is like this and uh, open the telegram and you can install it from here or i am going to show you like this rambax go this application like this install it and you will get the uh, its function like this you can install many application the most application i think vlc game plant uh, pinta calibri chromium kazam and skype and all atom code editor or visual studio if you uh, if you like visual studio you can install that uh, la another thing is change the look of your desktop with the new themes and icons like gnome tweak tool in terminal you have to type this command and already have installed that so i don't need to install it so here it is the gnome tool Genome. With this application, you can uh, you can edit themes and uh, here it is tweaks. You can edit themes and all this stuff, high contrast, uh, dark uh, dark theme, cursor sites, desktop, docs, and all the stuff. Power okay top bar workspace and windows so this tool uh, which is very helpful uh, next thing is prolong your battery life and pre prevent overheating so for that i got a uh, best tool that is tlp tlp is a wonderful tool that controls cpu temperatures and expands your laptop's battery life in a long run so for the installation you have to uh, type this command sudo apt install tlp tlp dot rw rdw uh, for and for starting the tlp you have to just type t sudo tlp start and this will this will uh, tlp has started in battery mode so it is started mm, and last thing is system cleaning for system cleaning uh, this 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 uh, works like the uh, cleaning of caches and all the history uh, clear so it is important for your uh, system so for that just type sudo apt add to remove remove okay and this will uh, remove the uh, remove the 
packages which is uh, not required for the system okay so i'm gonna remove the, those packages so like this you can uh, you can uh, set up your new system another last thing i'm gonna show you is through the setting i have installed this application like uh, android studio uh, bliss bit is also best alternative of uh, atorimo and uh, i have installed a Dis uh, discord uh, chromium and uh, pycham spotify tor and all the v uh, visual studio vlc so uh, go to the settings now from here uh, from here you can uh, you can uh, select the icon size uh, of uh, the dock that is at a height you can at a height the dock position of the dock so uh, this is called as dock so if I uh, add it to the right so this will be like this okay so dock size and dock icon I can change their sizes notification area search area region and uh, and pri privacy sharing okay sound stuff power management stuff just uh, uh, turn off the aut auto automatic suspend if you want you can uh, turn it off from here and uh, check the uh, when the power button is pressed uh, you can change it to the suspend power off or nothing you uh, you can configure your network and uh, all the stuff here okay display size and its refresh rate and all the stuff is here so that's it for it guys uh, you can uh, update your system default application from here you can set the default uh, uh, browser mail calendar music and video and photos so that's it for now guys today please uh, subscribe my channel and support me and uh, thanks guys